Okay, how's that? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. All right, so just take me to that day that this all started, and you know what I'm, I'm referring to. This was in the parking garage. Oh, my God. Okay, why that reaction? Because I just got done talking about this. Okay, well, that's what we're here to talk about, so tell me what happened. Um, I was, I just started out just a normal day. I was chilling the rest of the day. I got in a couple, got into it with a couple of people. Sk skip Paris day. I, it was following that night. It was around like six, seven o'clock. Me and my homeboy was going to go check cars. We were going through cars. We were checking stuff. We came up on a little cash. Mm -hmm. Then it was a lady. Once we were going, we started from like the fourth floor. And we was working our way up. Mm -hmm. We were just checking cars. Then it was when my homeboy seen somebody. It was a lady. She was in a car. He was like, um, he was going to walk up to the car. I was like, do you? I kept going up, checking cars, and I came back down. When I came back down, he was like, he was, he was going to take a car. I was like, all right, do you? Then, like, he walked, first, he walked up. He asked, like, what time it was, just see what the door was going to lock. Then... You said, I'm sorry, he asked her what time it is? Okay. Like, and did her, her window was down, or did he knock? Or he, how did he get her attention? He just walked up. Like, he walked up to the car. Like, he just walked up at first. Then I was coming back down. He looked at me. And when he was looking, he walked up and he pulled the door open, pulled out a phone like he was for the rob her. So when he did that, the lady, she was all yelling. She was yelling. So I walked over there. Uh, what did you say? I didn't say nothing. I just walked over there. You said nothing the entire time. So she's screaming, and what is your friend doing? Nothing like he. When he opened the other door, the lady started hollering, and he went to the other side, took her phone, took her keys, and just started pulling out the car. And what are you doing? I was just standing there for a minute, then after he took her key, he pulled her out. So your friend did everything and you did nothing? Like, I was there, like I jumped in the car with him. Mm -hmm. and, and this woman, she was beaten. She was beaten pretty severely. Did you watch her getting beaten? Did you participate in that? No. Did you see her getting beaten? No, I was just paying attention to my friend. So then who beat her? Well, I don't know. He took her phone, took her keys. So you don't know who, how she got beaten? No idea? At all. But she was robbed? Okay. So then what happened? Then he pulled out the car, he jumped in, I got on the passenger side and we left. Mm -hmm. Was that part of the plan that if you found somebody that they you would go after whatever they had? No, I was just checking cars. What does that mean exactly? Checking cars, like going around, pulling doors. If they open, we go through them. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been involved in anything like that before, where there's a person involved? Not at all. And so, my understanding is, you guys took her, her stuff and her car, took it left in her vehicle. So where did you go? What did you do? He, he talking about, he was going through her stuff while I was in the passenger side. We was on our way taking me home. He stopped at McDonald's, used her car, got him some need, took me home. Okay. And so what are you thinking through all of this? To be honest, really nothing. I just tell him whatever he do is him and take me home. Did you ever feel sorry for this woman that got beaten and had her car stolen? Of course. I'm not just, I'm not a harmful person. But you didn't stop it from happening. Okay, he is on person. Why didn't you try to do something? Because he is on person. It's simple. So in all of this, what did you ever, did you ever have any contact with her, hit her, yell at her, scream at her, say anything to her? No. Where were you in, in regards to her when this was all happening? How far away were you from the car? At least where I am now until they walk. So you're standing maybe six feet away, five feet away, but you, and you just watched? Five. But you just watched? Most. What do you mean most? Got, well, most, like most is different than... I'm saying most, like, because he, once he took the keys and 
the kids, it, he did him. And I just, he said jump to the pastor's side, so I jumped to the pastor's side, he took me home. Mm -hmm. And have you ever been involved in anything like that before with no. another person? No. So what have you been involved in? I mean, you obviously, you said you check cars. So it, you've done that's that. That's mostly what we do. Mm -hmm. And then, now, you're, I'm sure you probably saw a lot of the news coverage that has happened over the last you know, week or and a half or whatever it's mm -hmm. been since it happened. I think it yesterday. It was yesterday was the first time you saw anything? And yeah. what, did, what did you see? Just me. They had me on the news and the lady was talking. I was like, damn. Like, then they was like, they only, they only called me, so I was like, damn, I was, I was messed up about it at time away. I was messed up about it. Mm -hmm. And so explain to me how it was that you ended up arrested. I was downtown, coming from the house, meeting a friend downtown, two police officers, like they were staring at me the whole way, so I was, I was just looking. Then everybody was like, it was two officers walking around asking, do they know anybody about Tuta? Uh, Tuta, that's my nickname, that's what everybody know me by. And I guess a couple of people said, yeah. Then they were, they came across the street, they were asking, because I heard him when he asked one female my name. So when they looked my way again, I took off. Mm -hmm. So what we understand is that somebody went over to police and told them that you were the one who was involved in that beating and that robbery. And then that's why then they, that's what got their attention. And then they went to try to confront you. Yeah. So who was that? I didn't know the female. You didn't know the person. How did she know you were involved? Because a lot of people know me downtown. Like I do go to school with a lot of people. So words got, word had gotten out that you were involved? I guess. That's the only way I can look at it. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think now of the fact that we're sitting here having this conversation and you're facing a pretty serious charge? A lot going through my mind right now, but there ain't nothing I can really do now. Mm -hmm. What would you want to say to the woman who got beaten and had her car stolen? Dad, I'm sorry, and I should have stopped him, but that's how life is. Some people make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. Well, I've done a few of these interviews, and I will tell you what's, what the common thing is in a lot of them is that the person usually says it was the other person that did it. How can we believe you? Why hey. should we believe you? Hey, everybody entitled to their own opinion, so. Should people watching at home believe you? I know some are, some not. It's how life is. Mm -hmm. You can't force anybody to believe you. Yeah. Where did the gun come from? It wasn't a gun. He used a phone like he had a gun. He used a phone like he had a gun, okay. And so, did you guys ever have a weapon on you? No, not at all. How did, I, and I apologize that I don't know these things, how did he, how do you use a gun like you, how do you use a phone like if it were a gun? I don't know. That, you said, when they catch him, you gotta ask him on that one. But you, but you must have seen it, because you were standing five feet away, so what did it look like? They did, and he just walked up to the car, put it to her. Simple as that. So he put the phone to her, mm -hmm. and to like her head, her back, her, I didn't see how that, like, I was at an angle as far as I could see him and see her sitting in the mm -hmm. Okay. So, so they call you too tall? All right. And how did, how do you think you ended up on this path? Why are you doing this? I don't know. Like, to be honest, at the time, I was really just thinking about providing for my baby, to be honest. That's oh. the only thing I'm really worried about right now. Well, tell me about your baby. How old is your baby? I know, like, she ain't, my, my daughter, my baby mama haven't had her yet, but I'm the type of person I like planning ahead, so when it do happen, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So, so your girlfriend, okay, and she's pregnant now. When does she do? She do in September. Sept September, okay. So, that's a little ways away. So she just found out she's pregnant? Yes. Okay. And do you have any other kids? No. First child. So you're thinking about your son, or your, we don't know if it's a son, your child. I'm hoping it's a son, but <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. All right, is there anything else that you would like to say about all of this? I mean, now you have, this is your opportunity to 
say what you would like either to the victim, to people watching, to your mom who, you know, gave us permission to talk to you as well. I, I already talked to my mom, so there's nothing I have to say to her. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to say? Not really. Do you think you'll, if, if we don't know what's going to happen in this, in this case, but is this something, a situation you'll try to avoid or I'm, I guess I'm trying to figure out, do you get off this path or do you not? Of course I get off. Like me, as far as me and my mom were talking earlier, she was like, if I do get out, what am I going to do different? And I told her, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to just get a job because I'm tired of doing stuff like this. It's simple. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared if you have to do some time? I did the crime, so I'm going to have to do the time. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you talking to us, all right? All right. Anything else you want to add? No, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Don't go too far. We're going to get that mic. I know. All right. Thank you.